another day, another van project. Today's task, installing our new inverter. You'll have to excuse the street noise in the background. We're parked at our storage unit, which is very close to a highway. And we're gonna be here most of the day, so apologies in advance. But anyway, as you guys saw in last week's video, we recently got a coffee pot, which we've been absolutely loving. Having just like a pot of coffee brewed in the morning is something I've kind of always associated with like living in a house since we've always done a French press or pour over in our vans. So it's been feeling really homey and kind of fancy to have a coffee pot in here. So running the coffee pot off of our small portable power bank is working for one pot a day, but we have to recharge it way too often. So we decided last week to put it in an inverter and it finally arrived. So we're working on that today. Also a quick note on our storage unit. This is something we decided to do when we were first trying out van life. Um, there were some furniture items and things that we knew we need again after we were done living in a van. Turns out we really ended up loving van life and we've been in our van for three years and we don't really see ourselves moving into anything bigger in the next few years. So one of our goals this year is to clean out our storage unit and officially get rid of it. It's honestly going to be a really big project but it's going to feel so good to finally really 100% be free and it'll also save us a little bit of extra money because we do pay monthly for our storage unit but getting the storage unit originally was a really great way for us to feel comfortable trying out van life without you know like full sending it but we're ready to full send built our van extremely well so behind all of our drawers and cabinets every square inch of space is used and this inverter is kind of an afterthought so we're just kind of spending a little bit of time trying to figure out where is going to be best to put it and how easy it's going to be to access to turn on and off i think we've got a game plan so the current plan is to sacrifice a little bit of space in the drawer that's directly above our refrigerator this is right next to our power bank in our garage area and it will be super easy for us to just pull the drawer out, flip the inverter on, and access the plugs that way. So I guess step one would be to clean out the drawer. This is the most sun we've seen in days, so I'm being super helpful and sunbathing on the map. <laughs> It's the first nice day out in a while. We decided now that we finished up our projects, it was time for a family walk. Favorite day of the week, by far. The only way to get these stupid suction cups to stick. Wouldn't recommend these window covers, but they work, I guess. Taking this bag in with us this week and trying my hardest not to get too much more than this anyway. Can't wait till we have a freezer. Hey, we're coming. Are you in the front seat? We have 
every time. <laughs> she puts her head in every bag. <laughs> right. she says, what is this? What is this? Aw, cute. Husband of the year. Hello, Haley. Oh, you want up on the bed? Okay. Ugh. Boop, 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 boop. We missed you. Pantry's all stocked. I'm so excited. We've been looking for a basil plant for so long. We started buying these a while back when the grocery store was actually out of like basil. So I just bought a whole basil plant and it turned out to be way cheaper and it lasts way longer and it's more delicious because it's fresh. But our last basil plant, we um, ate all the basil. So we needed a new one and we've been searching for ages. Oh, I love it! Yay! It smells really good. <laughs> Welcome home, bud. <laughs> Don't give it too much. It's not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I also couldn't resist the Trader Joe's flower section. Oh, hi, inverter. Tink. <laughs> this looks so good. Trying out a new sauce from Trader Joe's today. I'll let you guys know what we think. I think the sauce is, is subtle. It's not... Not very strong in flavor, but... It's a little dull. I would definitely... I think it's a good start, but I would definitely add some more spice. Some hot sauce? Yeah. Sriracha? Sure. Official review. I don't know, 6 out of 10. Probably won't buy it again. So I replaced the string lights that were in here, the battery operated ones, they die really quickly and I was just honestly really tired of buying batteries. So these ones are plastic and I've got them hooked up to the extension cord that attaches to our inverter in the drawer here. And I'm going to flip that on and we're going to get cozy. It's honestly the perfect amount of light in here, especially when we're stealth camping. Oh, I'm so excited! Haley, it's so cute! You're so cute! <laughs> oh. Good night! Josh brewed himself another pot to take to work in the thermos today, so that makes pot two. Loving the inverter so far? Yeah, it's working well. So nice. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Say bye. Say bye, Dad. Oh, you're going out the side door? Uh, no, I can go out the front. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, Bye. I'll see you later. Love you. Love you too. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. <laughs>
So I basically just spent the morning editing, which means I also made myself another pot of coffee. So that puts us at a three pot total for day one with the inverter. And hopefully that doesn't become a regular thing. That was such a nice little project to get done and checked off of our list. Generally speaking, when we come home in the spring after our travel season, we've kind of made a little mental list, if not a physical list, of some things we'd like to change or upgrade about our van. And now that we're home, it's time to start tackling those projects. We have a couple of more things that we're going to be working on over the next few months. Something I've kind of just noticed about van life in general after three years is that we're constantly thinking about or actually making changes to our van to make it work better for us. I thought, you know, after the second build that we did or the third build that we did that we would finally be done thinking about van projects, van changes, but a little secret, it never ends. <laughs> I've also really been enjoying just embracing spring this season, getting some fresh flowers and some fresh basil in the van. Just greenery in general always reminds me of spring. The van has been feeling so cozy and homey lately and I've just really been enjoying nesting since we've been spending a little bit more time at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for that this week. But I think I'm gonna leave you guys here for today and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Stuff's falling out of the cabinets already. Good night.